got my watch on, I've got my little Mac coat on. Get me? Love this Mac coat. Had it like probably about six years. Bought it from um, that clothing store, Forever 21. I'm sure it's still about anyway. Um, I'm sure uh, that shop still exists, Forever 21. But, uh, man, I had to back out a smart jacket today in the car. I had a, a viewing for the room. So, man's listed my room in my flat. Uh, listed both rooms, should I say. Uh, listed them on Gumtree. And a couple people responded to the ad. And um, yeah, one of the guys said, yeah, he's, he's available for a viewing today, which is Friday. I think it's the 28th of January today, isn't it? Boom. So I've met him, he's come down or whatever, innit? Now, some people don't like to use Gumtree, you know, because they feel like a lot of dodgy people come through Gumtree, but it's just not the case. Obviously, there is going to be dodgy people out there who, and when I say dodgy, I mean people that's not going to pay the rent or take the piss. There's plenty of dodgy people out there, but it just depends on how you are as a landlord. You see me, I'm a man, I can filter out the bullshit. Man, I filter out the bullshit. Like I said in my previous video before, I was renting out my house for about 18 months consecutively. Always had at least one person in, in, in my yard. So let's say for example, if I'm renting out my rooms, uh, my yard for 18 months straight, and most of the time I'm gonna have two people in the yard, that's basically 36 months worth of rent. Two people times 18 months. Nobody failed to pay the rent. You know why? Because like man said in previous videos, I tell them straight up, as soon as they come for the viewing, obviously I ain't gonna say it at the door, but I'll say it within five minutes of me being there when we start talking about payments and that. One month's rent and the same value as a deposit up front. If you fail to pay the rent, I wanna serve you a notice, you have to leave. I don't give no chances. That's it. But a lot of people, they don't know how to, uh, I don't even want to call it confrontation, don't they? but they don't know how to be upfront with people. If you're going to be a landlord, you have to be upfront with people. Isn't it? You can't let your tenants intimidate you or it's not even a case of being intimidated, but it's like you don't want to come across a certain way or whatever in it because you might scare them off. Scare them off. Scare them off because there are people out here who will fuck about and mess with your money and not pay your rent. Go and watch them programs, slum landlords and nightmare tenants and that. There are going to be people who are going to fuck you about and that. But trust me, when you're a certain way, you filter out 99.9% .9 of that bullshit. I've had people phone me up before, not this, this time around, but when I was renting out my house before. I had people phone me up, talk about, oh, um, uh, yeah, do, do you mind if I have a guarantor and all this kind of nonsense and that? I tell them straight, no. Some people try and divert or go around it, tell them straight, no. Can't be afraid to be upfront with people. Can't be afraid to be upfront with the tenants and that. They'll walk all over you, they'll take the fucking piss. Man gotta run them filters. Like me, like some people like estate agents and that, I think when they're looking for, or when tenants, when they find prospective tenants or whatever to rent a room, they run credit checks and all of this bullshit. Man don't need no credit check, you know. I'm the fucking credit check. Man don't run no credit checks on nobody. Man don't need to do that shit. Because some people will do it as a way to find out whether or not these people are going to pay the rent. Man know people are going to pay the rent. If not, there's going to be consequences and repercussions in it. That don't mean man's going to go there and fist man up or nothing like that. But there's a famous saying. People know who to fuck with. And when my tenants come or when people come to view the property and that, when they meet me, they know. Man can't run all over me in it. They know it. They know it. Man don't need to talk gangster or swing my fist around or beat my chest. No, no, no. But man, no. Man, no. Even just the way you hold eye contact and that. People know. I'm not a big guy. Like I said, man, not a big guy, you know. Like, you should have seen the fucking, the tenant that came. Uh, first viewing of this flat. And, uh, yeah, the tenant uh, came in. Yeah. He's not a little guy, and he's a guy who I would describe as having 
uh, like a, a lot, a lot of masculine energy. Let's just put it that way, in it. Yeah, he ain't no small puny guy. He's even a boxer as well, in it. Yeah, straight. Man still have to tell a man straight. Man don't let like the way some. I don't give a fuck. The same rules apply to everybody. Yeah. Now I'm probably gonna get him to rent my room because basically he's got another tenant. Uh, he's got another room to go and view and he said to me he doesn't know if he's gonna rent that room because the woman was being a bit funny with him when she was texting him when they were texting back and forth so i said oh maybe it was an older woman and uh she was you know just she don't know how to text properly or something like that i don't know so anyway boom he said nah 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 she was all asking questions like oh uh without kind of asking him what he looks like, but she was trying to ask him what he looks like, like asking him, how tall are you? All these kind of dumb questions. And, and I said to him straight, um, the reason why she's asking you is because, uh, and I asked him, does the woman live in the house on her own? And she's going to live in the house that you're going to go and rent a room in it. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, well, she doesn't want to feel intimidated or whatever, innit? yeah. That guy there, obviously I can't show you because I didn't record him. I ain't going to put no one on my videos. That guy there, he is not going to get that room 110%. A hundred and ten percent. Ain't no white English woman gonna have some hench, bald-headed Polish man in her yard. Nah, 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 nah. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. A hundred and ten percent. He ain't getting that room. I'm gonna get him to rent my room. Isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Man, just feel about that bullshit. She's she, she's running filters on him or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. She's gonna. What's gonna happen? He's gonna go to that yard and try and. He's going to go to that yard and she's going to message him back an hour later saying, oh, something's come up or whatever in it. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. She's just going to, she's not going to tell him. And, you know, as human beings, we are not that upfront. She's not going to tell him, boy, you look kind of intimidating or whatever in it. So I'm not going to let you rent the room from my yard in it. Yeah. But I guarantee you, he ain't going to get that room. I can just tell. Most women, they would be intimidated by a guy like that. But obviously, man and man, and man's of a certain energy and certain level. So man like that is just, I just see them as the same level as man. You get me? But other people, oh, my man would intimidate other people. And that. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Like I say, you have to be built a certain way. You can build a certain way. He even said, yeah, I like you, you know, like you're like, basically he said like, you're a man. You get me? Like, he likes the way man come across and that. You get me? And it ain't just to do with, oh, because I'm, I wasn't even wearing this mat coat. Man put the jacket down on the, on the bed. So I'm just in my t-shirt and I just got some, um, like burgundy chinos or whatever. Yeah. But man just know on it. Man know when they're dealing with a serious man. Know, man, man know who they can fuck about with, who they can play about with, innit? Yeah, me, I'm the type of man to not play about with or whatever. Innit? Like me, again, like I said, man, not a big man in terms of size and that. I've got the, basically the stature of a boy, basically, innit? But man, no, when they meet me, there's a fucking man. So, yeah, man, that's, that, that's what it's about, innit? Yeah, like, like running filters on these tenants and that. Like, some people have said to me, ah, oh, Jay, you know, if you talk to the tenants a certain way, and I'm not rude to them, man's just upfront and direct. Uh, you get me? I need to get my point across properly. Some people have said to me, like, blood, if you talk to the tenants like that, like, oh, if you fail to pay the rent, blah, 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 they ain't gonna wanna rent from you, whatever, innit? Cool, fuck them, fuck them. You think, listen, I'd rather have an empty property that I'm paying for, that's coming out of my pocket, rather than have some fucking tenant in my yard renting a room, taking a fucking piss, blood. Are you mad? You mad? I'd rather be this way and maybe, quote, unquote, scare off a couple of people and that because of my sternness, then have some fucking wanker in my room renting and uh, uh, um, not paying rent. So yeah, man will scale some people. That's cool, blah. Man will scale some people. No problem, fam. The worst thing you, you can have is a man in your yard rent um, not paying rent, blah. That's the worst fucking thing. You must be going mad. Nah, man I blow a gasket in it, so yeah, yeah. I know hundreds or well, 90% sure he, he's gonna come back to me anyway. So yeah, hopefully man get him in. Uh he's gonna be the first tenant. Um yeah, like I said to him, boom. Uh don't worry, the next person I get in, they're not gonna be a loud person or nothing like that because there's an old man downstairs in it, so I can't have people up here making up noise and all that kind of nonsense and that in it. Yeah, it's an old quiet man, 
I think at like nine o'clock he just locks off or whatever, really. So obviously I expect the people that live above him to show respect to him in life. That's the thing about me and you got you got to show courtesy to your neighbours and that. Um, you know, make a wrong move and you might get your <laughs> your face bust in it. Like me, I ain't gonna talk too much in it, but man's neighbours has been a bit noisy and man's had to go over there and fix them and fist them up. Yeah, literally. But I'm gonna save that for another story in it. So yeah, like I said to him, boom. Um, the next person I get in, um, yeah, there will be a quiet person. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm quiet, I'm quiet, whatever in it. So, yeah, make sure the next person is quiet and that. Because the worst thing is, you don't want to have people create unnecessary noise and that. Anyway, I thought I'd just share that quick video with you, innit? Yeah, about filtering out tenants and that. Stay where I don't know.